Hey guys, Buff Elgato here. I'm going to talk about the Nakatomi Plaza missions in just a minute, tell you how to get all three missions. I uh, just want to point out that the Die Hard and the Rambo are the first 80s action heroes that have been added to the game. These are both well worth it. I've gone through, ended up buying them uh, after this video. But the finishing moves, the executions are pretty cool. John McClane pulls the gun off his back where it's duct taped to his back. Execute. Rambo actually has two. He has a knife one and he has a leap shot one with the bow. Uh, their guns are both... Um, have dismemberment, explosive dismemberment, even works on zombies, works in war zone plunder. Even his knife, Rambo's knife, has dismemberment. When you go to Cold War, you're going to have nine things you have to do to get a blueprint for a tactical rifle. Some of these are kind of sketchy. Uh, you go into a game. I've been playing 24-7 hardcore Nuketown. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Uh, just like any other thing, it's just kind of sketchy. But you're going to get some of these little charms and emblems. And once you get all nine, you're going to get this blueprint here for this uh, tactical rifle. Looks pretty cool. I uh, say it's probably worth it if you're wanting the blueprint, if you like the blueprint. If not, don't go through it because there's some of these I'm going to make a video on that's pretty hard to acquire, some of the nine. The next one is for Modern Warfare. There's nine different ones. If you go in, the descriptions sound pretty cool, but get to the chopper, uh, get together, have a few laughs. But the emblems and charms are kind of crap. Uh, I'm not sure who decided on the gifts here that you receive once you do it. The descriptions sound really cool. What you earn is kind of crap. And then at the end, this looks like the Pellington, uh, could be wrong. It looks like the Pellington, uh, I already have the Pellington maxed out. It's probably one of my favorites. Just kind of weird that they give you this blueprint on the Modern Warfare when the Pellington is a Cold War. This is the um, Ignition uh, blueprint. It's uh, pretty cool on the side of the gun. It says Pearl Hunter. Um it's a pretty cool blueprint, and if you're one of those guys that likes getting 100%, then this is something to work towards. Now, on to the three missions for the Nakatomi Tower. The first side mission is called Arms Deal. It is completely random. They have added the Nakatomi Tower onto Warzone and Plunder. You can do it on either one. The first mission is called the Arms Deal. It is completely random and it's kind of rare. There's nothing that really that triggers it. What happens is you land at the Nakatomi Tower and there will be NPC terrorists on the bottom floor. If you kill them all, they will drop a key card. You take the key card up to the 31st floor and open the vault. The second side mission is the disarm the C4. Just like how Hans Gruber had the C4 on the roof and it blew up the police helicopter. When you land here, there will be an indication to disarm the C4. You have to work your way through the buildings and find the C4s. There's four of them. Disarm them and you will get a key card. The third one is what I'm working on. There are three missions at the bottom of the building on the ground floor or contracts they're called unfinished business those highlight on your map what those are you try to land try to grab one there's three of them try to grab one once you open it there will be three boxes you have to go to each box will have a little key card Try to open up all three boxes. If you die, just parachute back in on plunder. War zone, don't worry about it. Just do it on plunder. That way you can keep coming back and you have your loadout. Keep coming back. Open up these boxes. Make sure your teammates are picking these cards up. Once you get the cards, drop down to the first floor. The only way to get to the 31st floor is drop down to the first floor. Go up the elevator. The elevator will take you to the 30th floor. 
Once you get out of the elevator, you're gonna see these set of wooden stairs. Go up the wooden stairs, that takes you up to the 31st floor. Once you get up to the 31st floor, just wrap your way around to the right and you will see these little TVs and it says unlock vault. You will see the vault that Hans Gruber spent all night trying to drill into. Once you get into it, there is tons of cash, tons of cash. The thing is, there are three bank vault doors inside here. You will need the different key cards to open each one and you only can carry one card at a time. So your teammates need to pick these cards up. If you have a sorry team that is not with you, it's, you're not going to be able to open it. There's specialists uh, in there. People are going to be hunting you down. You're going to be marked. I instantly jumped to first place getting in here, but I could not open the second and third vault because my teammates had the key cards. Two of them quit and one refused to come up to the 31st floor, even though I marked it over and over and over. But guys, this is how you do it. These are the three. Guys, if you like this video, please hit like, please subscribe, please share, and I'll see you in the next one.